Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got a date already? Yeah, I do. Well, how many classes do you take? Right now, I have four. Uh, how, how many units each one? Sixteen. Oh, four each. Four each unit. Four each class. What are the classes? Uh, I have History 100, EDPT, uh, Column 383, and Writing 120. Which is the hardest? <laughs> uh, they're all pretty, I mean, they're all pretty the same. They're all pretty different. They're all the uh, same level. What's the hardest thing to do coming in and being a quarterback uh, early entry kid? Uh, right well, first thing I struggled with was time management. Just knowing where I had to be, knowing, I mean, meetings and waking up early. But, I mean, I caught the gist of it once I came in. How about on the field? Uh, it's a lot faster. It's a lot faster than the high school level. Um, I, I feel I'm getting there. I'm catching up to uh, the speed, but I just have to keep progressing each practice. What's the hardest thing for you right now? Uh, not counting, not getting play. <laughs> probably just, I mean, focusing in, just making sure I get all my mental reps because I didn't have to do that much back when I was, a, you know, the man, I mean, the guy at Sarah. So, I mean, just focusing in, learning as much as I can from the coaches and the guys in front of me. What's the most fun for you so far? Uh, just being here, getting to compete each day, learning from Coach Helton, Coach Sark. I mean, getting the, the best coach in the country that I get. So just keep taking in as much information as I can. Has this been overwhelming at all for you, uh, you know, maybe initially? Or uh, how do you kind of handle it? Yeah, when I first came in, but I mean, Coach Sark and Coach uh, Helton have guided me a lot. And I've learned a lot from Cody and Max. So, I mean, it was overwhelming when I first started, but I'm, I'm, I'm moving along. What's been the most difficult uh, part of the transition? Uh, just time management, just staying on top of everything, just making sure I have everything in order so I won't have any edits. How about you're out on the field system-wise and stuff like that? I mean, the system I came in, came from uh, Sarah is pretty much the same, but just picking up the terminology, making sure I know the concepts and make sure I uh, go through all my reads, just make sure I, I completely understand all things. Do you feel like you've uh, done about what you expected, surpassed what you thought you might be able to do here, or? Oh, not at all. I plan, I had higher hopes for myself this spring. I mean, I wouldn't say I had a bad spring, but I progressed a lot of the coaches have been telling me. So, I mean, I just have to keep uh, keep progressing instead. Uh, I was a bit nervous, but I mean, I don't, know, I don't know if any of the guys would tell you that they noticed that, but I mean, just coming out here and just command the huddle, that's what quarterbacks have to do, just show leadership. Oh, a lot. George is a smart player, a smart guy. I mean, I learned a lot from him as well. Him, Nelson, Darius Rogers, all those guys. I learned a lot from him. What kind of shape is he in now after not having played for you? What do you see? Uh, I mean, George. You can tell that he's trying to recover from his knee, but George. I mean, once he gets that confidence back, he's going to be rolling again. Same George Farmer that we've been seeing. You saw him play a few times. Right. One more time? Did you see on your radar recruiting class? How Uh, no, not that much. I didn't talk to him that much. Uh, about for about like two to three weeks, I was talking to Coach T, and then of course I got on the phone with Coach uh, Sark, and then it just went from there. Well, was it that they were recruiting you hard, or you just more interested in them? I mean, a little both. I wasn't really looking into USC that much before I came, before the coaching changed, but I mean. Once the coaches change and all the guys start calling, down, start looking into it. What, what was it in the change that, uh, that you like? I mean, I believe in Coach Sark's system and what he ran up at Washington. I mean, uh, I know a couple of guys that he recruited that were up there, Troy Williams. Uh, I talked a little bit to Keith Price, and they tell me they, they like him as a coach, they like him as a guy, and he does a lot, and he's a great guy. You know Troy pretty well, then? Yeah, I know Troy. Well, Kester contacted him immediately. Mm -hmm. Cause they, they know each other, too. Right, right. It. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a it was a lot faster game, so just adjusting to the speed and making sure I get the ball in the right places. What do you think's been the biggest challenge? Uh, probably just the time management part. When I first started, just making sure I, I'm on top of everything, making sure uh, school and school and football is right. What's the playbook like? Uh, it was a lot when I first came, but I mean, I got the gist of it now. I'm learning everything. I'm learning little nooks and crannies of, that are in the offense. So. And Clay Helton, what's he been like as a quarterback coach? He's great. I'm glad. I'm glad I got to uh, be able to be coached by him. He's a great coach. What did he do for you? Uh, he helped me a lot when I came in. He helped me uh, fix my throwing motion. I was a little off, a little. Uh, that's why I was inaccurate a lot. Uh, coach Helton, he's been 
in the film room. He's just like another Coach Altenberg for me. He just guides me a lot and leads me through.